Hello everybody, this is Miles Luigi, welcome you back to Let's Play Mario's Key Test now! We were gonna take on this inside gorge, Mario's gonna fall down the gorge and go do 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 except, except, I am an idiot, and the solution to Four Shrine Condolore Church is really obvious in retrospect, so let's actually finish this level, shall we? Okay, everybody, what's the lesson that we have learned today? I guess Wheel of Morality, turn, 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 what is the lesson we have learned? Oh, there's some invisible coin blocks down below that I should hit first once I get this block pushed all the way down there so that I can push the block across. Obviously, yes, so that, that, that would be, that, yes, yes. Let's, uh, let's go do that. So I just have to worry about this arena booze, which shouldn't be too difficult. I just have to wait for them now circle around again, hop on up, push the block forward, and there we go. No need to pick a god and pray, which I'm surprised I didn't make that joke too much last time. This is like the perfect place to <laughs> make it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, there we go. Oh, my gosh. Wow. How did I miss this? The I... You know, sometimes your mind just gets onto like a one track passageway that just doesn't go anywhere. So, you know, you just take a night's sleep, read lots of angry YouTube comments, and I actually don't know how many people angrily YouTube commented this because this episode hasn't quite uploaded yet, but I'm pretty confident reviewing text guys' notes that there's lots of angry comments about it. Huh, <sighs> no. Main comment I remember reading is how I'm too loud, so I've set my microphone from 4 to 3. Yes, I'm recording on 4, and now I'm recording on 3, so hopefully it's not too loud. Hopefully. It's a secret within. Well, it's a secret to everyone, and... Well, I have two passageway, a pipe, and a passageway down, and down it- Oh, not fishing dry bones! Uh, no one- ugh, I wasn't prepared for that. Okay. So we have an empty room with fishing dry bones? Is there a hidden door here? Or actually, I think I got it. There's a hidden block right here. No? There's a block on the other side. Okay. I see very clear asymmetry here. Ugh. One side has a bench. The other side has blocks. What's the secret here? Why is there fishing dry bones here? What's the secret? Ugh. Fishing dry bones is one of the world's most annoying enemies ever. Just as annoying as fishing Boo. Just he's fishing dry bones instead. Yeah, I'm obviously missing something. So I guess we're gonna come back to here and instead go into the pipe. Cause that we didn't really have a whole lot. Oh, it was all my work for nothing. It was all my work for nothing. Grr, I'm back where I started. Uh, I don't want to come back to this level a third time, preferably not. Oh gosh, I'm now wondering what exactly do we do? Do I come back after I get the high jump boots or um I've been in this pipe before. No, that's the exit pipe to somewhere. Uh this stupid level. Stupid Urgh! Now there's gonna be lots of angry YouTube comments telling me you need to do this, Miles Luigi, and you need to do that, Miles Luigi, and I'm like, ah I completely forgot. No, or I'm no, I'm not paying attention. Once again, my mind is all distracted and on one track pony and no it needs to not be a one track pony i was trying not to do that i was trying to get the shell because i remember getting something with the shell yes it was here oh wait a silver p-switch clever uses of a piece of silver p-switch can kill fishing dry bones okay i like it when the solution falls into my lap now our next uh yes you need to quit picking a god <laughs> it's Mario and Prague. We need to bring the silver P switch to fishing dry bones. Uh, give me another like a minute or two to push this block. Mario, don't get your head drilled by the pencil. Thank you. Voila! Fishing dry bones. You're dead. Yeah! That was this room's solution, and that took us to it's a secret to Ooh, the regular P switch, which we can use to finally get those blocks at the beginning of the level. Does this take us to the beginning of the level? Yes! Now I just have to get up there, which I think just going from the other side ought to do the trick. I just have to jump on all over to the tables. You know, just seeing all these rings of booze, I'm actually thinking this isn't a church for Mario. I mean, there are the Mario statues. Maybe it is a church for Mario. But the other thing it could be a church for, maybe it's a church for rings of booze, because rings of booze 
are magical and all encompassing powerful and there's only one spot you can get through them and I guess this is the worship oh ring of booze please give us a path to go through you because otherwise it's hard but not impossible to get through a ring of booze it's not impossible kids you see the small little slivers here not the big gap small little slivers yes you can get through there now, uh, the keyhole, if I recall correctly, is next to the Sphere of Destiny. Uh, so I have still yet to figure out how to collect said Sphere of Destiny. Sad day. However, I have figured out how to beat this level, at least in the normal sense or the secret sense. You know, I would think by part 12, I would have figured out what is a normal exit or a secret exit in this realm. Heck, yet the two just kind of meshed together because in all technicality, the key in the keyhole is the secret exit, at least according to Super Mario World standards. If we read the comments in the actual programming code of the game, they would probably say something like that. And that takes us to the Yellow Switch Palace for Palace Y Melody Palace. The problem is Super Mario world is now all compiled in an assembly which is why rock hacking it can be kind of difficult because you need to know how to read SNES programming language assembly and that can be kind of difficult but regardless guess what we're gonna take on the yellow switch palace and gravity's been ratcheted up to 20 or two whatever I can't jump as high and I probably don't want to fall there and I can't jump up there okay I did fall down here although it's not death quite yet this is uh, kind of evil it can't jump very hell, so I can't make it very far. Can I even make it past this gap? Ooh, I just can. There we go. Whoa. However, this gap... No, not happening. So, maybe... No? Okay. Spin jump off the fuzzy, hit the switch. This is an evil switch palace. Yikes. Ah, I got it. Wow, yes, very evil switch palace. However, with that... Oh. Well, kids... I immediately ran into a very bad problem. I can't move the springboard, because it's a silver springboard, and I need to be able to get up. However, the gravity is now pumped up to 20, or 2. I'm now confusing 20 and 2. I either need to turn off the gravity switch, or Mario needs to get the high jump boots. And I'm still awaiting the high jump boots. Uh, what did I just do? Nothing good. At least I can cross this gap, so... Maybe I'm... Maybe this is possible without the high jump boots. This oh son of a biscuit! Around and around and around. Let's not fall down the hole. Do I hit the switch? There you go. There you go, Miles Luigi. Your ultimate destination is the door. Okay. Okay. So we have that switch, and we have a hole below us. Let's just take the safe path because you know, tw twenty times gravity in Yellow Switch Pass world. Um. No, oh, there's a springboard down there so I guess I'll just come down here and not die to the Koopa hopefully I didn't need you to cook something preferably and I might have just screwed myself out of something however I did move that fuzzy around so we just not that button not that button I said space time rewind okay not pressing the switch this time because I'm stuck on this side of the world and uh, well, there's nothing here other than this block here, which I obviously can't hit unless I had a shell. Now, there was a Koopa Troop, but there was no shell. <sighs> unless I brought the fuzzy all the way down. No, screw this. I want high jump. Oh, I can't start select out of here. Okay, I'll just accept defeat for now. We're going to go ahead and go on to the next level. However, I'm going to call break. One sec, please. And I'm back. So, now we have the beginning of World 4, we need a high jump, and now we have the Yellow Switch Palace, we need a high jump. I'm gonna take it, and what I'm gonna guess is level 4 or 5, we finally get a freaking high jump, or it's in the pipe and, you know, super secret special high jump land, well, whatever. Oi, what do you think you're doing, bye? <laughs> okay, so yeah, we killed all the eyes of Finn, so now we're being told. Head back now. Well, why the heck would we head back now? We're in the Scorching Canyon. There is said to be a treasure with a deadly volcano under this gorge. All who have tried to retrieve it, though, have perished. Well, all that you have recorded, who says someone hasn't gone through this, came back, and you just didn't notice them. <laughs> Folklore says no one's made it alive, but I have. Dun dun dun. <laughs> 
goes to show you that you just should not listen to folklore at all. So yeah, this is the Scorching Canyon. I was expecting a gorge, you know, a big, solid, long hole. Oh, well, I guess it could turn into that with a line guide level is a perfect type of level to just have a big nothingness, a vast abyss below us, so. Looks like we're gonna be pressing switches to just move on forward. Uh, I don't want the piranha plants to be nailing me at all as I go through this level, so. Just going on forward through this level's kind of square, so I'm curious now where we're headed, because we are headed backwards. And I'll just follow the arrow sign. There's our ultimate exit. And we're back where we're starting. <clears throat> I just went in a circle and ultimately accomplished a whole bunch of bubkiss and nothing. Well, that's just great. Here, are Mario, instead of jumping the gorge, is just going to go into a big circle. This symbol here almost looks like the SNES symbol. <laughs> oh, let's go across this gap, except, ooh, I think I had stand now I gotta get back over here though I think I'm supposed to hit the switch again sometime around here and then jump on back there we go I just have to just watch Mario's ass carefully so that it doesn't get roasted and set on fire and here we go this will probably get me a regular P switch yes and I'll be able to use this to finally get somewhere maybe we're gonna go ahead and get rock and rolling in the cave and it's gonna be all awesome and no no Mario's shoes have been set ablaze and it hurts and where exactly should I use Use this P-switch. Oh yeah, that's right, the pipe. Okay, let's not die to the fire, let's not die to the- FUDGE! Alright, when they said no one makes it out alive, I can tell you- no! Air. I just rushed it and it worked. There's one thing that I've never been taught in Super Mario Brothers survival class. Oh gosh. It's how to handle those stupid pyramid fire things. They're one of the most dastardly, ugly, evil enemies ever and I really need to possibly retake Super Mario Brothers class because maybe I'll actually learn how to dodge them. It would definitely help now with all these prana plants all over the place and well uh, at least we get to see the rest of this level yeah as we're entering the volcanic crest <laughs> Mario's just gonna go ahead and just descend deeper and deeper into the volcano he's a pretty sturdy guy I gotta give him that well no one's ever made it out alive because normally they get roasted alive and uh now I kind of see what's going on don't land don't land don't land okay well don't land on the buzzsaw Unless you spin jump off the buzz saw, that's what I try to say. Okay, hopefully I did the right thing there. I think I did. I would have otherwise gone into the piranha plants and just had a very unsavory, bad type of death. Quit fireballing me. Good heavens. But, uh, yeah, Mario's a pretty sturdy guy. He's gone into caves filled with lava plenty of times, and he makes it out pretty fine and okay. I wonder if, you know, he might not have a thick enough skin to handle spikes to the face, but he does have a thick enough skin, or at least a... What exactly would be the term here? Bubbling magma. Uh, I guess heat-resistant skin? That's the term I'm looking for? Or maybe Mario's cold-blooded. Oh, gasp! This entire time, Mario was a cold-blooded creature. Ooh, there's a P-switch up there that I might want to get. Possibly. Let's go ahead and let this fireball just rotate around. Yeah, Mario's just cold-blooded this entire time. That explains why he's able to just survive in snowy winters without ever wearing a jacket or a coat and just wears his plumber's jeans. And also why he's able to go into the bubbling magma cave without any issue at all with the heat. I'm thinking this room I have to collect all the coins. I'm dead! I just got... Game fire barred. <laughs> Hit with two fire bars at the same time. Before you ask, no, that wasn't pleasant. That was on fire. God, I'm terrible. Ah! That's an evil coin. That's a very, very, very evil coin. But yeah, it looks like our goal. Yeah, lots of really evil coins. I just lost my platform. And I either, uh, I can't really climb out of here because this jump is just a teeny bit too high. Not that I basically tried to commit suicide. Okay, space time rewind unless I want to fall into the presumably lava. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, yeah, this part of the level's pretty evil unless there's something really obvious that I'm just flat out missing. I wouldn't doubt it. Actually, can I make it? Yeah, no! Go figure. Just space time rewind. 
garbage. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I think we're almost done with all the coins in this area. And I even have a Koopa shell to use somewhere. Plus, there's the P-switch up here. So, there's a lot of good things we can get around in this area. Yep, there we go. Hopefully, this might be our pseudo Jeopardy room in the underground deep lava caves. It's like lava cave Jeopardy room. I don't have a question of the day prepared for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> a lava themed question of the day uh, we're nowhere near 75 coins although I definitely have enough for a tollway if there's a tollway I think I might need a Koopa shell to get this uh, come on up oh, or no okay well I'll, I'll take a mushroom yes thank you Aha. there might be a coin I'm still missing somewhere in the level or let me actually head back over here there's this mysterious set of blocks that I think the fact I got a blue switch just ruined me out of getting this you know if you came here with those the blue piece switch you could get that that might be where my final coin is yikes 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 and that just leaves one last question the piece switch what do we use the piece switch for hmm good question actually if I use the piece switch the Koopa Troopa jumps downward let's go ahead and just hit it now for the sake of showing this off Koopa Troopa oh, that's where my last two coins are and I see something else that I can do too Let's not melt to death. Mario skin isn't that malleable. I should know the term for this. Heat resistant? I'll just go with that. There we go. Oh, that's right. The yellow one gives you super Koopa deathinator. Yeah, I should watch this out. Okay. And also, I just lost my chance to get those coins again. However, I did hit the block. Oh, yeah. And there's the pipe on the left that was blocked by the blocks. Yes, yes, yes. I see what to do. I see what to do. Okay, because that Koopa Triple wasn't as useful as I thought it was, and maybe this isn't collect the coins. Normally when I come into a room in this act, I'm like, yes, collect all the coins, but here it's like, nope, just get into the pipe, and voila, that brought us to the pure pre-boss from another explorer who wishes to take my treasure of hotness? Yes, ha ha ha, well, Vulcan will toast that steamy little face of yours to ashes. Vulcan, huh? All right. Hey, a one up. I'll gladly take that one up. That's probably what the coins were for. Okay, we Vulcans for your fry guy, not Vulcan. Son of a biscuit. I lost a power up already. Give that to me now. Okay, good. Okay, so Vulcan, you are a fry guy clone out of all things. Yes. <laughs> I think we found Fry Guy's brother, or maybe it's Fry Guy's sister. How would I go with the theory? You are Fry Guy's sister. Just so I could go with this running joke that it's really hot in here. <laughs> I'm terrible. I apologize. But regardless, if you are anything like Fry Guy, you're going to split up into like four little creatures that are annoying and dastardly to deal with. And thankfully, now that I'm not sitting on one side of the room, your fireballs are horribly aimed. And heck, even these other fireballs that you are shooting, you can't hit me. You can't hit Mario Mario. Ha 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 ha. You blew up. Ha ha. And we even got Vulcan Secret, the high jump boots. <laughs> You have found the treasure of Simstein Lee Aria boots. That describes a double jump. It is a double jump. Wait, okay, here I am hyping a high jump? We get a double jump! <laughs> yes! <laughs> could use that. Give that back to me, thank you. <laughs> Woo I don't think I've ever played a Super Mario World ROM hack that's given me a double jump. But I will gladly take it, and that pick us right back out of the Scorching Canyon. So, our reward for going through the Scorching Canyon, the double freaking jump! Yeah! 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 On the next episode of Let's Play Mario's Catastrophe, we're going to take our... Actually, Fortress Insign? No, thank you. Let's fast forward this. I know what we're doing next episode, and you know it, guys, too. We are getting revenge. On the next episode of Let's Play Mario's Catastrophe, just listen to that music now. So, this has been Miles Luigi. See you for revenge!